in this month's freezer meals i have fantastic recipes that you will love for starters i'm starting with goat and more goat so you see what happened i sent my husband to buy for me four kilos of goat meat from the slaughterhouse only to go and find that they don't sell in kilos if you go to the slaughterhouse you either get half a goat or a full goat or a quarter goat and because of the dry season we've been having the prices are really affordable so we ended up buying a whole goat all right now because of the dry season again a whole goat is not that much money it's not that much meat actually so we later came to learn by the way here's a tip if you want to have goat for christmas buy one now and then put it in your courtyard or homestead or backyard or pantry whatever feed it and then slaughter it when you need it over christmas but now as we need it today so that's what i'm cooking i want to start cutting it boiling it and then we'll fry it a bit later on top of that i want to make some fantastic slow pulled pork wait and see i want to make some pilau i want to make some some more lentils and beans and sausage and bacon and oh, amazing stuff so let's start with this good on top of all that Today, I'm feeling like a champion because I'm starting my freezer meal cooking at 5 a.m. in the morning. Just call me organized. But that's because we have guests coming in the afternoon and I must finish this before they get here and then get ready for them. So you know how we do it. Let's start. One of the best decisions we made this time round was to go with our knives to the slaughterhouse and have someone sharpen them for us because our knives have been so dull, oh my goodness. But thankfully we realized at the slaughterhouse we can't miss someone to sharpen. So if you need your knives sharpened and you're going to the slaughterhouse, just carry your knives with you. Pack them nicely. If you're stopped by cops, uh, all the best explaining why you have knives in your car. <laughs> But it worked so well for me and because I have so much meat to cut and I mean the goat is quite t I mean not tough but you know it needs a really sharp knife. I'm telling you these knives are so sharp I nicked myself just a little bit but anyway it's better than having a dull knife any day. I really need to invest in one of those big chunky knives that cut bones because I mean I think it's a good idea to buy goat this way but the bones are so humongous and not all slaughterhouses the slaughterhouse in Dagreti is a great for cutting for you the bones into smaller pieces but oh not all are like that so now the goat is boiling I want to add some garlic and some ginger and cover it and give it some time to boil in the meantime i've decided to also boil my beef which i had managed to chop last night thankfully boil it because i want to use it for making pilau as i prepare the rest of the ingredients working smart
So now I'm ready to go on to my pulled pork recipe because it takes a long time to cook. Actually, recipe says like three hours of just nice boiling. So the earlier I start with it, the better. So I have my pork here. I've got onions. We need some garlic, but not ginger, just the garlic. Some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of jalapenos, uh, ketchup and mustard, some tomato paste, brown sugar, paprika, and distilled white vinegar. I'm going to show all this. Oh, and salt. I'm going to put it in the pinned comment. Now I need to make the sauce. It's very easy, by the way. Make the sauce, put it in your pork. Put it to boil for three hours or as many hours as you have time for. If you have a slow cooker, more power to you. I don't, so I'm making the most with my current situation. Let's cook this. One of the best ways to have pulled pork is to make sliders sliders are basically you just they're like burgers but they're made instead of putting a burger patty you put like uh like stew oh my gosh anyway all this is explained in the article with the recipe so i'll be sure to link it down below and i'm putting away these really fatty pieces of pork so that I can use them to make lard. I'm still researching on the benefits, pros and cons of using lard as opposed to cooking oil. Because you guy, my guy, the price of cooking oil. What? Ugh. For the first time in I don't know how many years, I am cooking Kenyeji chicken. And a lot of people ask me over, have asked me over, over the many months why I don't cook Kenyeji chicken. And it's mostly because I had an issue with buying a whole chicken. I didn't know what to do with the rest of the parts. But now I'm an expert at buying whole chicken and cutting into pieces. And then also, and I honestly didn't see the fuss about the difference between Kenyeji and broilers. But... Our amazing niece and nephew have been keeping chi I'm telling you guys, these chickens are from our niece and our nephew. And we are so proud of them. I'm telling you, can you see the size of this chicken? It's bigger and better than the ones, than, than broilers, to be honest. And we're really excited to try them out. And oh my gosh, already just the cutting and you can see how red the meat is. It just looks like real chicken, you know? And now they're great for actually batch cooking because you see batch cooking calls for really cooking the chicken for a, for a long time and when i would do this with broilers they would just fall apart but not kenyeji mm -mm -mm. really excited i'm so proud of you guys i know you're watching proud of you i'm using the goat neck to make uh chicken to make stock i mean because what else do i do with goat neck you guys what else and the tail and the whatnot <laughs> But it makes, makes for good stock. I'm going to use it for a few months.
so i'm ready by and large with my prep and it's 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 midday just six hours you know plus i took a break for breakfast and all that jazz so i have all my vegetables they're ready uh my beef is boiled for the pilau my goat is boiled i've already chopped up my chicken here i have my bacon for the beans and sausages for the other beans we'll figure out what goes with what and then i also have my what my my base my maize not base i have my maize for the gideri the other things i'm going to use is i have my coconut cream okay i have my coconut cream here plus i have some ghee it's been a while we have missed ghee i'm using some royco and a bunch of spices because you guys asked me what spices that i use i have some my tomato paste so for the spices i'm just going to be showing you with every meal so that you can have a rough idea okay so i want to start my multiple fires and boom 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 be done in five minutes by the way my pork is ready it's been bubbling away on very low heat on the jiko and it's ready so i don't know i first put that aside my stock is going the pork is smelling delicious you have got no idea this is gonna be a favorite meal i can feel it i can feel it okay You guys, this pork, what? I cannot explain to you how tasty this is. You know, they've been making pork just dry fly, dry, dry fly, <laughs> dry fry over the last many months. Now, this is the recipe you have to try. Oh my goodness. The only issue I had was um, the way we cut up our pork, it had, we managed to pull it, yes, but in there we some tiny pieces of bone got i mean so when you're starting to cook i would rather just remove as much bone as possible before you boil your pork because it just makes life easier but what the flavor
Pilau is not my strength, by the way. It's one, you know, it's good to know what you're good at and what you're not good at. So I've been struggling with Pilau. So this time I decided to, I decided to give it another go because Pilau is great for, for freezer meals. It's a complete meal. You just take it and warm and just add your vegetables and it's just really yummy. So I used a recipe from guess who from Kaluhi's kitchen. Yes, she has a really fantastic one. I did not follow all the high instructions because I had not watched the video all the way through to the end. So I didn't, I didn't roast my pilau masala, which I should have done, but it still tasted amazing. And yes, I met her. You guys, I met her this week. I met Kalu. He herself. Fanga moment. I was so jazzed. I screamed. Yes, I screamed a lot. phenomenal you guys i have enjoyed today's batch cooking these freezer meals are amazing i've been testing 
quite a lot. There's now no condemnation, okay? If the food is good, we taste it and we taste and taste and taste. So I'm really jazzed. But I think my most favorite one was the pulled pork. What? Fantastic. So now the only thing that remains is I'm going to let it cool down. Then I'm going to put it in my freezer bags after labeling them and then arrange them in my fridge. And we are sorted for the next month. I can't wait to see how many I'm going to get, how many meals. I'm going, I'm aiming for 30. Yeah. Let me show you.